Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we are opening a couple of sterling silver lots that I won on Shop Goodwill. When I show the lots, I'll pop the price that I paid for them on the screen because I can't remember right now what I paid. And my computer is MIA. No, it's not. It's broken. I'm waiting for a new one. Anyway, Henrietta and I are here to ask you to please go down there and hit subscribe before we move on. And if you feel so inclined, hit the bell so you're notified when I put out new videos or when I go live so you can hang out with everybody that is in the chat, because it's always fun. All right, let's get started. The two lots that I'm gonna share with you today is a charm lot that I got. It has three sterling charms in it. And then this is a 925 Gems, Abalone, etc. Oh, I've got the, uh, is that the receipt? No, is it? Maybe. No, this is just what they put. Anyway, it tells me what all the stuff is. I don't, they don't always send this, so 30.4 grams. Okay, so this is the other lot that I won. So yeah, let's take a look at this and this and I'll tell you why I bought it and all that fun stuff before we dive in let me zoom down on this little sweetie let's focus there you go you did it this actually was not in this lot this came in my clothes in a lot that I shared the other day and it rolled behind something so I didn't get a chance to share it but I loved it so I wanted to share it it's a little globe and it's got all the enameled it looks like maybe it's inset and then there's like a glaze put over it. So it's not technically like a cloisonne, but it's, you know, mother of pearl inset there. Some kind of blue stone here, some kind of green stone. It's definitely inset because you can see, you know, that's abalone down there. And then it's got this glaze covering it with these really sweet longitude and latitude lines. So I wanted to share that because I loved it. I loved it a lot. First up, this little lot of charms I got. I'm popping the price up. And the reason I got it, honestly, is that I loved this little one arm bandit here. I love the little slot machine charm. I am not a gambler. Well, I say that, but then I always got, I always get like jewelry lots. But I I liked the little slot machine. And that's why I went after it. So I was like, that's really cute. I wonder if it works. It doesn't. It would be fun if it like cha-ching and it went down and did all that fun stuff. But it doesn't. I just thought it was awesome and fun. So let's see if we can make out the marks on the bottom, shall we? It's upside down. It says Jane Jane Craft Sterling. So that is a brand I'm not familiar with, Jane Craft. So that is the first charm. Next is this sweet puppy. Like, it looks like maybe a Cocker Spaniel. Tell me what you think. You think it's a Cocker Spaniel? Some kind of hound, maybe, or a puppy of a hound. Uh, Cause look at those long ears, maybe like a Basset Hound. Those ears. Uh, yeah, maybe like a hound dog, some kind of hunting dog, maybe. And I like that it's got the clasp with a spring ring on it. Cause you can just, pop it on and this one oh what that says danecraft <laughs> is that one danecraft too duh it is the uh the finish has worn off which makes me uh oh maybe it used to be plated or something i don't know uh yeah it is Dan i'm like i've heard of danecraft janecraft oh <laughs> all right so uh, i have heard of danecraft so that's a good brand uh, but this is another come on hold still you Another Danecraft Sterling charm. Here's my curiosity. Like, it's got quite a bit of tarnish down here, but it's untarnished here and untarnished here. So I'm curious about that. <laughs> I will try to clean this up because it's not consistent, but I'm curious about it. If it's, if it's damaged or, it shouldn't be damaged. But normally I can rub on tarnish and it will start rubbing off and I can't and I'll start getting it on my thumb, which I am not. So this will be something for me to look into if it's maybe been damaged or something because Danecraft is a good brand. So I don't think it's like a cheapy thing that that's curious. It does look like it was possibly damaged. Um, so when you've got silver, 
that has been tarnished up really bad uh, and it'll sometimes start getting like pocked, you know? So when I get in there and really look at it, I can see little teeny pock marks in the metal. So that's something for me to, to consider. It would definitely affect the value if I'm not able to get that cleaned up. So we'll see. I'll, I'll pull out my silver polish stuff in just a sec and see what we can do about that. Never mind, I'm pulling it out now. I'm getting my Simple Shine. I have links for this. They sell it on Amazon. And it's they, there's different products, but this is the wipes. And I can just take a little snip. I don't use a whole wipe for a little thing. I just pull off some. Because I don't need a whole wipe. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little dabble do ya. Let's see what we can make of this. It is showing some tarnish on the wipe, so that's good. It's coming off. Pulling out the big guns. I've got this simple shine solution where I can let it sit submerged. And we'll see. I'm gonna let it sit submerged because my wipe is just not quite doing the trick. So we'll do this. It sits. I need to get some more of this. And we'll look at it again in a sec. Next is this graduation cap. Also probably a Dane Craft. Yep, that's a Dane Craft. Uh, so that's a nice one. This is one, you know, I'll probably clean up. Both of these, there are some things that I will leave tarnished. This one I might leave tarnished. The graduation cap, I'll likely shine up. It just depends on the piece and what I think would go better as far as selling it. Some people like the tarnished look. Usually, usually I'll leave it, unless it's like a James Avery piece or something that I think people would prefer shined. But some people do like the tarnished look. Okay. So that is that lot of those three pieces. I paid this amount, and I think I'll make this amount off of these pieces. All right, the next lot I got looks like this. And let's see what I've got and why I bought it and what I think I can make on it. Here we go. Can we say gorgeous darlings? It's gorgeous darlings. Oh my goodness. All right, so <laughs> this is a really pretty peridot, probably. Peridot, and it's got this really fancy little bar and then likely a garnet in the bottom set in silver bezel set faceted stone really really pretty it's marked 925 i would still test things i like to test them before i list them i'll test the stones i'll test the the chain and everything because if i list something that's 925 i want to make sure that uh, i am for sure selling something that's accurate because there is a lot of fake silver, you know, where the stamp, like I say, stamps are cheap. So it's easier to get some cheapy metal and stamp it silver. If you can, when you get to the level, if you're selling, you know, definitely look into getting a gold and silver testing kit at the very minimum. And then eventually some sort of gem tester. I have the Presidium gem tester. All my links are below if you're interested in seeing what I've got and I've got lots of videos showing how to use them. So this piece I think I should be able to get I am guessing like 50 bucks but I will drop a, a price here once I've looked it up. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. This is actually the reason I got this lot. I, I saw this little box and I just fell in love with it. It is a little like pill box that is set with abalone. Isn't it beautiful? And it's just delightful. It's so delightful. It's de lovely. It's delectable that you should care for me. It's marked sterling silver ELM the top is sterling 925 and then under says hencho in mexico and then elm i believe is the probably maker now uh this is going to be one of those not for sale pieces because i have in my house all over the place the they're like printer trays from old print you know print so i have them hanging on walls and i like to find little beautiful trinkets to put in them and I have like I have one in here, which doesn't have a lot in it, but I have some downstairs in my house that I find cute little things or just pretty things <laughs> that I can put in there. They're so much fun to look at. And yeah, so this is destined for one of my 
shadow box trinket things that I've got. I'll have to share a picture. Then we've got this ring. Take a peek at this guy. So it looks like a piece of abalone because I can see the blue down in here. It looks like abalone slash mother of pearl-ish uh, as far as his face goes. Maybe it's meant to be that way. Because look, it does look like two different, look, if you look at it it's like so, you can see it looks like, yeah, and I, I can feel the seam there. Where like this part looks maybe more like mother of pearl, possibly. I don't know, I see a little shimmer in there. And then this part is more abalone uh, there. So he's got kind of like a two-tone face. And then there's some abalone, maybe it is all just abalone, but all pieced in there. It's interesting, isn't it? And he's got this carved face. I'm sure there's a name for this. I'll have to look it up. And he's set in sterling silver with this rope braid around the uh, frame of it. And have we got a mark, mister? Let's see. Do you have a mark for me? I don't have a mark for you. You are cool anyway. So yeah, I don't see a mark at all. Not even a sterling mark. So I will definitely have to test it because I, I think it's silver for sure. But we will take a closer look. How do you not have a mark? Nope, no mark. But let's see, mandrel, mandrel. Who's got the mandrel? If you've got the mandrel, then you are it. Let's see what size you are. All right, mister or ms. You are a size. Look, we got a swinger. Swing it around. You're about a five and a quarter on the ring scale, on the old mandrel. So this sweet little ring, I will likely sell for the amount I pop up on the screen. Aha, uh -huh. next we have got some earrings to match that beautiful necklace. Will I sell them as a lot? Probably no. But what I will do is when I list the earrings, I will put a link or a comment say, saying I've got the matching necklace and in the necklace I'll say here's the matching earrings because aren't they lovely? And I love the backs. They've got these really substantial flower petal type backs. They're really huge. It looks like a flower, see? And yeah, those are nice because they'll keep them upright, keep them steady. Beautiful. So I think I will list these Peridot and Garnet earrings for the next item that we've got here. Ooh, you can't see it. I'll so zoomed in. Here we go. We have got this maybe bracelet. No, probably it's an anklet. This anklet that is silver with these little silver beads, and then it's got a lobster style clasp. I have not tried to sell anklets before. <laughs> I, I come across them from time to time, but yeah, I, this is what I would probably clean up a bit and then see how it would do as far as, as selling it. Then we've got these. What do you make of these, huh? It looks like maybe a flower. If I turn it this way, which is actually the way it's supposed to go as far as the earring, it looks like if you, my gardener friends out there, does it, it remind you a little bit of a like, trumpet plant? Because the trumpet plant flowers, they like hang down like this. It looks kind of like a trumpet plant. What do you think? I mean, I think it could easily be a stylized trumpet plant flower. Could be something else. Tell me what you think. Because there are flower people and flower people will be like, oh my gosh, I never find trumpet plant flower earrings. And now I can find some. So these are ones, ooh, would you clean these up? I might give them a little bit. I might hit it a little bit with a, a cloth, but not a lot. Probably not make them super duper shiny, but I like, I like it. And again, those are marked right in there. L, is that an L-O or an L-C? L-C, once again, sterling. And I think I could get this amount. They are again screw back, so, but still, cool. Let's see how you did, dog. Let's, let's see how this old dog did. Oh, I need a cloth. Where, let's see, do I have any cloths handy? Paper towels. All right, out you come, mister. Or miss dog. I need to get some more of that. 
so it's toilet paper don't judge me it's a hot commodity right now well I mean it's better but it looks like it was maybe I wonder if some kind of chemical got on it I don't know exactly tell me what you think I know some of y'all probably know more about this than I do there's like a greenish hue which is unusual because it is silver and then I can see the the pock marks in where maybe the silver, I know silver can t sometimes change color with the tarnish, but it's not, it's not quite like that. You know, sometimes you'll see that iridescent -y, mm, sheen. It's not like that though. It's just like green. Ah, uh, and I mean, if it's a Dane craft, if it's a real Dane craft, that that would not happen. I would not think. I would love to hear, I mean, it looks a bit better, but it's not, a hundred percent not a hundo p peeps so thoughts this one may end up being a craft lot piece possibly i may try it a little bit more but it's kind of dubious i think i'll wait and hear from you because even still that like when i feel it you know the silver feels smooth and down here it feels a little rougher you know the the finish i would love to hear what you think as far as that goes. I'm sure I have somebody out there that's like, I know, I know. Let's make a thumbnail. I'm gonna make a thumbnail. It's gonna be awesome. Everybody's gonna wanna watch it because the thumbnail is so awesome. We got some silver. It makes us wanna dance. We got some silver. It makes me want to prance. There's a dog. There's that old dog. There's that old school marm. Coming down the road. Now I'm trying to get that dog in there, but I don't know if it's going to work. I just don't know. I'm going to back it out a little bit. Not too much, though. I want it close. I want it close, but no cigar. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. And find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye!